Hi, this is Ace from Ace Will Travel. Join me as we review the 2020 Jayco Jayfeather X213. We went with Jayco because it's a national brand and we were always told that they were pretty good or if not the best. So this whole entire box, tongue to tip, is going to measure about 23 and a half feet, uh, which is phenomenal if you're trying to get around tight turns. We live in a corner lot uh, with alley access, and that's how we park this bad boy in our backyard. And that corner is hard to get around. I'll tell you, it was a breeze with this. Uh, the compact design was absolutely perfect especially for a family like ours uh, it's a family of five so larger than average and uh, we wanted to be able to really fit everybody inside so this is the interior layout you have the bunk beds there with the wardrobe uh, the kitchen in the middle the bathroom the fridge the pantry a small dinette jackknife sofa and then the slide out in the rear for a king size bed. Now, as we go inside, you'll notice you're able to move around inside. That's the inside with the bed in. The thing we like the most about this is the fact that you can get to the fridge without even having to slide out the slide out. Uh, look at the control panel here. Let's go ahead and slide out the awning and take a look at how that is. Now they say this is about a 16 foot awning. I measure it almost 17 feet. Uh, I'll tell you the awning is phenomenal. Have it being electric uh, is something that I really enjoy. Probably gonna have the same issues as everybody else. Be sure that uh, when it's raining, you at least allow it to dry out before you bring it back. Now the slide out here, uh, this is it coming out now. The jackknife sofa folds down and the dinette folds down to allow the compact uh, design to really work for you. And that whole thing slides out very easily. The seals are nice. Uh, the one thing is you don't get any under the bed storage uh, because of the mechanism to, to move this in and out. Uh, you really end up losing that completely. Let's take a look at the bunks. That's the top bunk. Uh, it's pretty roomy. I have two boys, both over 5'9", and they fit pretty easily. Uh, I really like how the top and bottom bunks both have their own lights and their own plugs. So the boys are able to charge their cell phones or gaming tablets overnight. And it's it works out really well. We also have the bottom bunk here. You see that they have the plugs and the lights there. The coolest part is that this bottom bunk lifts up entirely to allow you to stow it away and pack it full of extra storage. Uh, you can fit bikes in here, you can fit nearly anything. It works out really well. And off to the right here we have the wardrobe. It's actually pretty big. Let's take a look at the bathroom. I'll be very honest, this is a tight squeeze. I'm a big guy, and that's a little toilet. So, for all the other big guys out there, it's going to be a little tight. You have nice, decent counter space. And the shower, hmm, for people that are over 5'8", like my wife, it's going to be a little difficult. Overall, not bad if you absolutely need to. Overall, it is a very small bathroom. It's going to be very tight quarters. One thing I wasn't a fan of, I'll tell you, is the door leading into the bathroom isn't fully there. It's missing quite a bit on top and bottom, and it's going to allow some things to come out. So this is the thermostat for the heater. Uh, not a whole lot to it. Pretty simple. But what I did like is this comes pre-wired uh, for solar. It's a Furion surround sound system. Uh, works out pretty well. It hooked up already to the TV that's installed uh, for movies with the kids. 
looking at the countertops there. Not a whole lot of countertop space, but just enough. We opted for the country white cabinets, and I'll tell you, it does give it a lot more homey feel, and it does actually make it feel like the trailer is a lot bigger and not so encased. Uh, we got a small oven. Now, it's very small, uh, but we're not going to be doing a whole lot of baking. You saw there you have the night lights uh, set up for the kids, microwave, which is probably going to get used a lot more to be very honest. So you see it set up here. We have the jackknife sofa and the small dinette. And you have a couple of storage spots under that small dinette that actually fit two decent sized Tupperware uh, containers for games and tools and things that you may need. The part that we like the most is really the natural light that comes in with this trailer. There's a lot of nice windows. Uh, that mattress is actually a super thick mattress. Uh, the jackknife sofa works out really well. We move on. We have the pantry here. This pantry is actually pretty deep and pretty big. Uh, works out. We'll see how it works out in the end, really, but I think we'll be able to, uh, to make it work. Have the fridge and the freezer. They're not huge, but again, in a pinch, you're going to make this work pretty easily. So, one last look that's the interior of the Jayco J Feather X213. Now, as we go back outside, uh, we'll see that the slide out's out. The slide out measures 5 feet 2 inches total. So, with the slide out out, your whole trailer is just under 30 feet, which is actually pretty perfect. You're going to fit it in a lot of RV parks, a lot of spots pretty easily. I've... Now, these steps are probably one of the cooler upgrades. They don't move uh, when you're walking on them, they're very stable, they're heavy duty. And I tell you, I do not fear uh, falling with these at all. They pack up pretty nicely too, as you can see. Now this outside storage is pretty small. Uh, the thing I like most about it, it has that magnet that holds it up uh, when it's in use. Um, but like I said, overall it's pretty small. I put mostly my hoses in it um, and just a few items. Next you'll see there's the battery and it does hold two uh, propane tanks which are pretty awesome. Uh, reminder, only run one at a time, don't run both. It's really a bad thing to do. As we go on the other side of the trailer here, uh, you're going to see a few of the features including the outdoor shower. Probably cool for some beaches and things like that, be able to wash your feet off. Now this is the inside of that bottom bunk again. We noticed that it has storage underneath, so you really don't need to flip that bed up if you don't want to. You can just store stuff right under there. Another cool feature is that Jayco has partnered with Goodyear to provide all their tires. So you're actually getting pretty decent tires on this too. like to review the 2020 Jayco Jayfeather X213 and this will help you decide whether this is the right trailer for you and your family. Before you go hit the like button and hit the subscribe button so you know when we have new content and as always keep traveling.